So this video is designed to show a user how to create what we refer to as an integration test. And in this case, it's going to be a relatively simple integration test, but an integration test nonetheless. So what I want to go over first is the fact that I took the liberty of parameterizing some things, because this is a this is kind of a best practices thing over here at API Fortress to parameterize as much as possible so you know that we can adhere to the programming concept of don't repeat yourself, so we can keep things nice and dry. So over here on the left side, and we access these data sets by clicking the data sets button, we have these global parameters that we have access to in this test. So protocol, http colon slash slash, domain, demoapi.apifortress.com, and then we have our endpoints all individually parameterized. So now when we're creating these, uh, these calls, we can just grab and combine these parameters into a full endpoint. So as you can see over here, I took the liberty of creating this post request, which just points at our user endpoint, but it's all, again, parameterized, so there's a little less typing involved more consistency. We're not going to have any typos in our endpoints um, that we you know, wouldn't see before that. We also parameterize our API key and the user credentials for the post request. And you can see those right here. So I have my post request here, and that's going to go to our user authentication server, and that's going to spit back a, uh, an authentication token. So what we want to do is we want to parameterize this token. So again, we can use it downstream without having to you know, outright type uh, what it is. So let's add a component, set variable, and the variable is going to be access token. It's a string, and the value is going to be uh, user payload dot token. And it just so happens that I know the structure of the response body from this call, uh, so I know that's where it's going to be. So now I have this access token. Um, the next thing I want to do is let's create an integrated get request. And you'll see what I mean by that in a moment. So we're going to send a get request to uh, protocol domain uh, product endpoint. And we're going to throw the key in there as well. Oop. Product payload. Um, great. And now from here, we're actually going to add in, or rather, we're going to we're going to do a few things here. We're going to add in each component, and what that each component is going to do, it's going to go over product payload, and this each component is going to make follow-on GET requests, but we're going to do something neat. And then we're going to go slash so what we're doing here is we're sending a call to get the full response from the product endpoint and each one of those is going to have an id and incidentally our products api uses those ids to refer to individual products on an API level as well. So we're going to iterate over that payload. We're going to grab the ID from each one and send an individualized GET request to that product's endpoint. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take each one of these individual products and we're going to put it in our cart to kind of follow this user story to its logical conclusion. So we're going to add another component uh, into the each, and it's going to be a put request. And that's going to go to, I cannot type today. going to go to the cart endpoint, and we're going to add our headers. We're also going to, there we go, it's going to be key, and that's going to be key. But we also, because it's the cart endpoint and requires authentication, we're going to add in our access token as well. So user token will be access token. Oh, I forgot one thing. We need to add a, a, a put body, rather, to this as well. And that put body is going to be a JSON. And it's going to be um, 
it's going to be an object. So what that's saying right there is uh, put the ID in there, and it's JSON, so that has to be in quotes. It'll still parse even though you put it in quotes. It automatically escapes it. And the quantity. So what's going on here is this put, let's throw this into this loop here because that's where it needs to be. And we'll put the get on top of it just so we can see things in the right order. The put is going to put the individual items in the cart. It's going to use the access token to verify that it's coming from an authorized user. And it's going to put each item into the cart one by one. So the last thing we're going to do here to verify that what we did works is we're going to add a final request. It's going to be a get to the, uh, the cart endpoint, rather. And we're going to verify that everything that should be in there is in there. Protocol, domain, cart endpoint. I'm going to call this cart payload. And again, because it's to the cart, we need our key and we need our access token. And finally, to keep this video a little shorter than it, it hypothetically could be, rather than iterating over the entire response body, we're just going to print it out with the comment. So this comment is going to be uh, just cart payload. And what we should be seeing at the end of all this are a lot of GET requests that are propagated off of this individual GET request right here, right here, this guy. And then we should be adding everything into the cart one at a time. And then finally, when we get the cart at the end, we should be commenting out or essentially console logging the uh, payload of the cart, and we should see all the products in there. So the last step is just to run the test and verify that the results we're seeing are the results that we meant to see. So let's click Run Test. We'll select our downloader, and we'll hit Run Test again. This test will take an extra second or so to run because it is making a lot of calls. So here we see our post request, and if we take a look at the request itself and jump into the source, we see that we got our user token back. So we verified that that works. Our get request to the all products endpoint is providing all the products, so we see that that works as well. And then each of these individual gets, we can see that the endpoint has been appended with the ID, and then we're sending a put request to the cart. So it looks like all these requests were successful, and if we scroll all the way to the bottom of the test, there we are. We see the contents of the cart right here in a comment, and we have one of each, so this did in fact work correctly. So yeah, that's, uh, that's how you create kind of a, a, well, it actually became less of a simple integration test and more of a kind of complex integration test, but that is in fact how you utilize data uh, in further downstream uh, test components.